and welcome back to Ohio Richlands. We have the eggs up here at Ohio Agri. We're going to sell them all. We've got 16,800 litres of them. So that should bring in a good bit of money this morning. It's quite awkward to sell them here. It's not going to take them all in one go. Should maybe think of a better setup for doing this. But for now, just check. Yep, so it's the best price at Ohio Agri, $1,200 per thousand litres. So that's ten thousand three hundred and thirty dollars just now. Still got eight thousand four hundred left. I don't know. It's probably not the best angle to come in at there. It's quite awkward to do this with the eggs. I need a better, a better system for selling, especially here anyway. The farm shop's not bad. You can just reverse straight in. Right, that's them selling. Is it selling all the pallets? I think it is. It's only taken one tray out of that last one. No, not everything. So another 7,100. Oh, that's them there. Try and squeeze in a little more. Yeah, this is quite awkward. We're going to have to figure out a way of doing this um, a lot easier anyway. It's very slow to sell the eggs as well. Another 1,700. Come on. There we go. $57. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Right, let's just check on the contracts. Uh, we've got cotton, field 8, sunflowers. Sunflowers again. Oh, we could do the sunflower contract. Uh, let's have a look. So field 25, that's a big one there. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Soybeans, we'll maybe leave that one just now. Oh, that's a bigger soybeans contract. Uh, we could maybe start on field 32. Yeah, it's the big one at the top right. A 28's there, yep, yeah, and 32 is, yep, yeah, it's that big one there. Yeah, I think we could start with field 32 just now. Yeah, we'll accept that contract. We'll come back to the sunflowers. And um, the cotton one, I think we could borrow the items with that because that's that big field in the middle, yep. Yeah. Don't know how much cotton we get left over from that, but I think if we borrow the items and set a worker off, we could put some into the spinnery. Mm, but then that would maybe back it up because we've got to get wool into there all the time. We need to keep producing that because we'll end up running out of space to store wool. Um, we'll come back to that one later on. Right, for now we'll nip back down, uh, we'll get the combine ready and we'll get started with this uh, first contract of the day.
that's the soybean contract on field 32 complete already. And we have a full load, 52,000 litres here, and we've still got a little bit left in the combine. And I'll see if it's worth keeping or not. And we'll wait until this stuff sells and the contract completes. Once the money starts jumping up, we'll stop selling. Let's see how much we're left with. It says it's 90% complete now. Any second now. There we go. So $825 of harvest income. 8,300 left. I think we're maybe just going to hold on to this and put what's left in the combine into the trailer. And we're going to take that back down to our yard and put it in our silo. Store that until the price gets good and then we will sell it off. I don't think there's too much in here actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, so 9,056 litres in total. Right, let's complete the contract. Uh, let's just check actually, 608. Yeah, I don't think that's the best price. Where are we? Oh, no, it's down here. Looking all over the place. So 608, 611. Yeah, so almost double we can get uh, in June. Yeah, we'll hold on to that in our yard. It's only 9,000 litres, but still. $17,767 for that contract. And we've borrowed the items for the cotton contract. We've already started, as you've seen in the little clips, we've put a worker off on it. And they're going to be going probably until very late this evening uh, into tonight, probably into tomorrow morning. Uh, he's, he's done a bit just now, they're going around that little lake at the top. But uh, yeah, it's quite a big field for quite a narrow work width. But we'll uh, let him crack on. Uh, we've got 25 to do. And where was the other one? Still got field 28. We might not do that one. We'll see what kind of time we've, we're left with. But uh, where are we? This one. So 20,000. I need to see if it's better off renting the equipment. Um, so that's 24 up there as well. Quite close. 25 there. What's the rental cost? So let's check that's a cotton one. No, we've got cotton just now. We're not going to do another one. No, we could do sunflowers, so 3,300 and 4,400 ish. So we need to see if we can rent a header. Quite cheap. And uh, let's have a quick check. That would do it, but it's just for a forage harvester, so it's going to smush it up. That's no use to us. All right, I'll have a look. I know that one does it. 5.7 meters. We're going to need a bigger one than that. I know there's a bigger, is it 12 meters? That's it there. I don't think they do another one. Yeah, you're pretty limited with sunflowers, just that two headers. Right, let's have a look, see how much this costs to rent. At least 4,600. Yeah, it would work. And then every working hour is almost $2,000 on top of that as well. We could up the working speed a little bit to maybe 11 miles an hour. It's going to take a couple hours to get it done, so that's the main thing. There's two fields to do. There's no point in renting it just to do one field. Mm, yeah, I think we're going to come back to that one. Um, we're going to go put this down in our silo. Get a catch up. Maybe get the truck going as well with the cotton contract. See if we can uh, get some bales up to the sell point. I'm still debating whether or not to do it. Uh, we'll maybe come back to it. It's 20,000 though. Between the two of them, it's 35,000. Uh, we left about 28,000 that two contracts. Plus the 36,000 from that cotton. We'll be well into 150,000 today. Yeah, right. I think we'll leave it there. Um, we're going to nip down, put this in our silo and see what else we can do later on today.
the Sunflower contract now finished? And as you can see, Course Plate is telling us that the uh, harvester needs to be refueled. So we've only got that far and it already has used the full tank of fuel. So we need to take that around to our farm and get it fueled up with our fuel. But we've got 36,000 litres of sunflower. This is the best sell point and it's actually a reasonable selling price as well. So we're just going to sell whatever we get in addition to the contract. So about 10,000 litres there I've just seen. So $10,226, that's not bad. Right, let's jump in and complete the contract. There we go. Oh, there's a cultivating contract. Oh, maybe I have to take that on as well. But for now, $20,562 for field 25. We've still got field 24 to go with the sunflowers as well. So that's one contract down and we're going to go straight over to that one. But we're going to take on the cultivating contract and get one of the workers to head straight over at field 32 and get that started. But now we need to get the combine, all the equipment moved over to field 24. And it's 51% complete with the cotton already. It's not bad going. Still a couple of other contracts, but I think we'll leave that for now. Um, we're going to go and start getting all this. So he's still going. I thought he stopped. Oh, we'll just leave him for a bit then. Uh, let's have a look, see what else there is. Two cotton contracts now. Um, I think we'll leave them just now. We've got one going. It's quite a big one, so it's going to take most of today. Yeah, right, let's get everything shipped over and we'll leave him going a bit yet and see if we fuel him up later on today. Well, that is the other field now complete with the sunflowers. This is the last load in. There's still a little bit left in the combine, but we'll deal with that later on. We should complete the contract here and have a bit left over. We're just going to sell it because it's probably not going to be much, is it? No. All right, so three, four, so almost $5,000. That's not bad. In fact, just over $5,000, I think, there. Uh, so we're at $95,566 in the bank. Um, yes. Well, that's the better one at the farm shop. No, well, we'll just take it down to the farm shop when we're passing. Uh, but for now, cultivating field 32 has been completed. $17,767. And field 24, the one we've just done with sunflowers, $15,836. Still working away with harvesting the cotton on field eight. That's gonna it's gonna take a while, uh, but now we can return the header and header trailer, so we don't get any more costs for that. There we go. That's that done. Oh, that's handy. Another one thousand nine hundred and thirty-two dollars for vehicle leasing costs. So we've just been charged there, as we put it back. Not the best, but we've done not bad off the sunflowers, I think. Uh, we've got an extra 10, about 15,000 in uh, a product that we sold. So that's, that kind of covers the cost of that. We can eat that up, no problem. Right, let's see what else we have to do. Uh, we'll check up on the cotton contract. We'll maybe start taking some of that cotton bales up to the sell point because uh, we've not had time to do any of that yet. So let's get on and get some of that done now.
Well, there we go. That is the cotton contract finally complete. Just, uh, just after one o'clock, uh, the morning after. So it's now October second. We did get about fifteen thousand liters in that last bale. Um, we managed to unload it. I think the case uh, harvester is the one that you can unload part bales. The John Deere one with the circular bales at ten thousand liters a bale. You can't unload part bales there. It has to be the full amount. So one of these is 20,000 litres and one's 15,000 litres. So that should complete the contract. There we go. Ah, oh, 6,000. It's got $6,000 in sold bales and we've still got this one here. Oh, wow. Okay, so $25,989. So, um, yeah, an additional $30,000 in sold bales and we've not even completed the contract. Right, let's jump in here and complete. So we've got $30,000 of sold bales and $36,064 for the contract itself. So $64,000. That was well worth it. I can't wait to do that again. That was, it doesn't take much time either because you don't need to chase it and unload it like a combine. It just unloads itself and you just leave it to it and fuel it up. We fueled it up twice. Uh, so that was a little bit of a cost for us. But nevertheless, it was a, a contract well worth doing, uh, at the very least. Um, so while we were in between the, the, the last clip and this one, I did work out uh, the cost of stuff. So we did have 3,887 litres of sunflowers left, and we sold that and got $2,938 at the farm shop. We also, in total, paid $9,091 for leasing the header and header trailer for the Sunflower contract. So a little bit more expensive than renting from the farmer itself, but uh, yeah, that worked out not too bad in the end with the amount we got from it. We also forked out 5,000, just over $5,300 on wages uh, from yesterday. I did jump into the cotton harvester and did a bit myself, kind of into this morning, so it wouldn't count for today. But yesterday, five, just over $5,300 on wages loan. So yeah, an expensive day, but we have $187,000 in the bank. We are gonna pay about $50,000 of that in towards the million dollar loan we have. The reason I'm not putting more in is because we really need a slurry pit now, uh, the, the cylinders, uh, slurry tanks, because we are getting up there again with the slurry at the farm and we're not able to get it out on the field without paying five thousand dollars every time to rent the distributor so we're going to get a slurry tank and that is between 75 and ninety thousand dollars for that but for now i think we will leave the episode there it is around 20 minute mark so i'm kind of happy with that and we will jump straight in have a sleep for the next episode and we'll see you there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and as always we'll see you again in the next one very soon thanks for watching